What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. PUBG versus Fortnite. It's kind of an argument that happens as often as Battlefield versus Call of Duty. Now, that argument is going to be taken from the consoles and the PCs to the courtroom. Korean developer PUBG Corp filed a corporate lawsuit earlier this year against Epic Games alleging Fortnite Battle Royale copied aspects of the game. Guys, before this video really gets into, into the matter of, that's obvious, but every Battle Royale game kind of takes from each other, so I really don't understand why this is, this is so impactful. My personal opinion, PUBG saw how fast Fortnite was growing, saw how much, how well they did their game, graphically and everything, even at the beginning, and saw how because they made their game free in a desperation act, their game became more popular. Now, on to the rest of the story. The Korea Times reports that PUBG Corp filed the copyright infringement lawsuit against Epic Games Korea this past January with the Seoul Central District Court. This was around the same time Epic Games and Neowiz sorry if I butchered that, games signed an agreement to launch Fortnite in PC rooms, popular internet cafe-like locations that charge an hourly rate to play inside of Korea. Now, PUBG's parent corporation, Bluehole, expressed disappointment with Epic Games all of last year over the release of Fortnite Battle Royale. So, we already knew that, guys. We already knew how much, we, we, we pretty much knew this was going to happen. We actually talked about it or we didn't talk about it on this channel but they, it's, it was talked about a couple months ago but um they had an ongoing relationship with epic games throughout PUBG's development because unreal or epic games was the creator of the unreal engine like the ue4 is what they call it so they licensed that that engine for the game itself so after listening to the growing feedback from the community and reviewing the gameplay for themselves they were concerned that Fortnite had been replicating the experience that PUBG was known for. But PUBG, the PUBG studio was contemplating further action. So, and that they, he had said that a while back. But now that action is actually being executed. And so we, we'll be keeping an eye on that. But the, uh, there are obvious similarities starting with the 100 players dropping from the sky, supply drops, a shrinking circle of death. The graphics and gameplay itself though are so different entirely. Fortnite doesn't even have a first person option. Let's just go there for the first part. Secondarily, PUBG tries to focus more on realism and makes there's there's bullet drop off and stuff like that. Now there is bullet drop off in Fortnite, but it doesn't take itself as seriously. That being said, PUBG was released in last March, March of 2017, to Steam for early access on the PC. It became super popular, viral. All the streamers were playing it. It had gone on to sell millions of copies. And then, like, an extra couple million on, on Xbox. But it sold 40 million copies on PC and only 4 million on Xbox. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. That's besides the point. Fortnite was a co-op survival game when it first got dropped. When it was first released, the information on Fortnite was first released. It was a survival game, co-op survival, save the world. It was in a state of desperation. And in, because of that, they took the idea of Battle Royale. And they made it their own, and I stand behind that com completely. They it took they that's what you do when you have a game coming. We have characters you take you take from other people. You don't necessarily you don't copyright it, but you take ideas from other people, like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, like Call of Duty and Battlefield. They took certain elements from each other to make their games better. Now, I want this to be known. If you guys didn't know this, Fortnite Battle Royale was a concept that was made in a month like literally it only took them a month to make that idea and put it into the game they didn't know it was going to launch the way it did they didn't know it was going to have the success the way they did and it did so here's my question to you guys do you guys think PUBG is in the right to even go for this 
this lawsuit to even go for this and what could this mean to you guys do you guys think that the that Fortnite will end completely if they get the, if they succeed in their quest to take them down or do you guys think that it's possible that they're just going to say PUBG you can't do this this isn't fair there's so many elements of this game that you are that you guys either did wrong or that they perfected or that they just did differently like i'm sorry but PUBG doesn't have shield potions PUBG doesn't have uh, what else does PUBG not have? PUBG doesn't have uh, jump pads. Like, they put so many different spins on it to make it less like that game that I don't think they're going to succeed. But definitely tell me, guys, what you guys think down below. Like I said, if you guys like this video, then make sure you guys leave a like. And if you guys are not part of Bear Squad, then make sure you guys hit that sub button and that bell so you guys get notified every single time I upload. Thank you guys for checking out this video, and I appreciate you guys so much. Peace out.